This is the high-level diagram for vCenter Server on Windows to migrate vCenter Server Appliance 7.0. You can use the GUI method or the CLI method to migrate your vCenter Server installation from Windows to an appliance. In this lab session, we will discuss how to migrate vCenter Server 6.7 with an embedded platform services controller to vCenter Server Appliance 7.0 using GUI. This is the Today Lab setup. Before start, you need to download the vCenter Server Appliance ISO image from the VMware Customer Connect portal. You need to ready a temporary network setting of the appliance with forward and reverse DNS records. In this lab session, I'm using 192.168.1.24 as a temporary IP address. Before starting, Power off the vCenter server and take a pre-migration image-based backup. Let's join with screencast. Mount downloaded ISO file on client computer. Before the upgrade, you must run the migration assistant on the source vCenter server instance. Copy migrate assistant to the vCenter Windows server and run the application file. Insert vCenter Server single sign on password. Go to the client computer and in the vCenter Server installer. Navigate to the VCSA UI installer directory. Go to the subdirectory for your operating system and run the installer executable file. I will go to the Win32 subdirectory and run the installer.exe file because of I'm using Windows-based client computer. On the home page, click Migrate. Review the introduction page to understand the migration process and click Next. Read and accept the license agreement and click Next. On the Connect to Source page, Enter the details for the Source vCenter Server instance. My Source vCenter Server IP address is 192.168.1.23. Insert single sign on username and password. Still Migration Assistant is extracting. We need to wait until extracting process completed. Now you can click the Next button on the Connect to Source page. Then verify thumbprint. In this page you can connect to an ESXi host on which to deploy the target appliance. If alternatively you can connect to a vCenter server instance and browse the inventory to select an ESXi host or DRS cluster on which to deploy the target appliance. In this lab, I am using same ESXi host as target. Insert target ESXi host IP address, username and password. Click Next and accept certificate warning. On the Setup Target Appliance VM page, enter a name for the Target vCenter Server Appliance, set the password for the root user, and click Next. Select the deployment size for the new vCenter Server Appliance for your vSphere inventory. This lab session I'm using deployment size as tiny and storage size as default. Then click Next. 
Select the location where all the virtual machine configuration files and virtual disks will be stored. Optionally, you can enable thin provisioning by selecting Enable Thin Disk Mode. In this page you need to configure the temporary network for communication between the Source vCenter server and the Target vCenter server appliance. In this lab session I will use 192.168.1.24 as my temporary IP address and insert subnet mask, default gateway and DNS server IP address. Click Next to Ready to Complete Stage 1 page. Review the deployment settings for the Target vCenter server appliance and click Finish to start the OVA deployment process. Wait for the OVA deployment process to finish. Click Continue to proceed with Stage 2. Review the introduction to Stage 2 of the migration process and click Next. It will take some time to run pre-migration check. Enter the credentials for an administrator domain user with permission to add the target machine to the Active Directory domain controller and click Next to continue. In this page you can select the data that you want to copy from Source vCenter to the new vCenter server. If you need to copy tasks, event, and performance metrics, you can select Option 2 and Option 3. Review the VMware Customer Experience Improvement Program page and choose if you want to join the program. On the Ready to Complete page, review the migration settings, accept the backup acknowledgement, and click Finish. Click OK to confirm the shutdown of the Source vCenter server. Wait for the data transfer and setup process to finish. vCenter server on Windows is shutting down. Click close to go to the vCenter server getting started page. Now you can verify the source vCenter server instance is migrated from Windows to a vCenter server appliance. The source vCenter server instance is powered off and the new target appliance starts. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful tech tutorials. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.